When temperatures are hot as they are right now, many of us want to just stay inside, but for many workers, that's just not an option. Fox 5's Kim Leffler is live with more on how folks who have to work in the elements have to stay cool, a thankless and tough job they have there, Kim. Yeah, absolutely. We got a little bit of a break from some of the heat earlier today without rain that came through, but so many professions have to work out in these high temperatures every single day, but they do take important steps to keep everyone safe. We're always prepared for it, We're prepared for it every year. The heat doesn't stop the team at Buckhead Outdoor Solutions from getting their landscaping job completed. July is the worst and the guys are ready for it so they bring extra clothes because they just drain and sweat. This air conditioned cab is one investment the team made to keep workers cool as temperatures soar. We take pr breaks periodically, 10 to 15 minute breaks every hour. We have water and Gatorades for the guys, ice, and we also keep a reserve at the shop. Theirs is one of the professions at greatest risk of heat related illness this time of year. Others, according to the CDC, include firefighters, farmers, and construction workers. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration reports 344 worker-related deaths in the U.S. were heat-related from 2011 to 2019. OSHA says employers should have a heat protection plan in place that includes keeping employees hydrated, working shorter shifts, taking frequent breaks, and identifying symptoms of heat-related illnesses. The CDC also recommends limiting activities during the hottest parts of the day. Our concrete crew, we try to start prior to the noon so we would avoid the peak of the heat. We try to just, you know, avoid the heat as much as possible. OSHA also says the risk for heat related illness begins when temperatures exceed 80 degrees, which of course we will be well above for the next several months. And live in Atlanta, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.